Okay guys, here's page two of the unit nine review packet. For number 17, we have to solve for this angle right here. Remember, if we're solving for an angle or an arc, it's an on, in, out problem. You'll notice that the vertex for this angle is inside the circle. So if we have on, in, out, half, plus, minus, I'm gonna have that my angle equals one half arc plus arc. Okay. Well, my angle is the V, right? So it's my question mark, it's what I'm solving for. If this is my first angle, so those angles go together. These are vertical angles, right? So if I'm solving for this angle, if I know what that angle is, those are gonna be the same thing. Each of these angles has their own arc associated with them, so we're gonna use both of those. So my two arcs are 50 and 96, or 196. Okay. 50 plus 196 is 246, and the half of that is 123. So the value of my angle is 123 degrees. Okay, number 18. Again, we're solving for an angle. If it's an angle or an arc, we're either doing, we're doing on, in, out, half, plus, minus. You'll notice that this vertex is on the circle. So if it's an on problem, we use the formula that angle equals one half arc. My angle is what I'm solving for. The arc is 142 degrees. I know that arc goes at this angle because if I draw out my angle or highlight it, this is the arc that it cuts off. Half of 142 is 71 degrees. Okay, number 19. Um, again, we're solving, oh, this time we're solving for an arc. This is my arc here. If it's an angle or an arc problem, we do on and out, half plus minus. You'll notice that this um, vertex is outside the circle. So I'm gonna use angle equals one half arc minus arc. Okay. So here's my angle. It's got this arc here and this arc here. So my angle, 32 degrees, is gonna be half of the bigger arc minus the smaller arc. If we wanna solve for x, I'm gonna start by distributing that one half. So I get 32 equals 55 minus one half x. I'm gonna subtract 55 on both sides. So I get minus 23 equals one, negative one half x. I'm gonna multiply it two, and I get 46 for my unknown angle, my unknown arc measure. Okay. For number 20, this is an on problem because my vertex is on the circle. Okay. Um, in order to solve for this angle, I need to know the measure of this arc because if I cut that in half, I'll get the measure of this angle. Well, fortunately for us, we know that all um, the arcs on the outside add up to 360 degrees. So if I take 360 and subtract 106, because I've already used it up, subtract 154, because I've already used it, that will give me how much I have left for this arc here, and I get 100 degrees. Since my angle is gonna be half the arc, because it's an on problem, my unknown angle is gonna be 50. Um, let's do number 21. So this is gonna be an out problem. So I can say my angle equals one half arc minus arc. My angle, the V, is 50 degrees. My bigger arc is what I'm solving for. My smaller arc is 50. I'm gonna distribute the one half. I'm gonna add the 25 to both sides. I'm gonna multiply both sides by two, and we get 150 degrees for X, or my unknown arc. Number 22, I'm solving for this arc out here. This is an in problem because my vertex is inside the circle. So for inside, I get that my angle equals one half arc plus arc. My angle is 81 degrees. My arcs are 51 and x. I'm gonna distribute the one half and I get 25.5. I'm gonna subtract the 25.5 on both sides, and I get 55.5 and 1 half x. I'm gonna multiply both sides by two, and I get 111 
equals x. Okay, on to a new section. This is topic 26, segment relationships. These are all of our PP and WoWo -wo problems. So the first thing we need to do each for each problem is figure out is it a PP or a WoWo -wo problem. Since something goes outside the circle, this is going to be a WoWo -wo problem. WoWo -wo stands for whole times outer. So this whole segment here is 18. The outer portion of the segment is the whole thing as well, so it's also 18. This whole segment here is 12 plus x. Think about it, if x was 10 and I was driving, I would drive 10 and then 12, I would add that together. I would drive a total of 22 somethings, right? So we're gonna add these two together. The whole thing is x plus 12. The outer portion, so the thing outside the circle, is just 12. So 18 times 18 gives me 324. If I distribute the 12, I get 12x plus 144. I'm gonna subtract 144 on both sides. And then I'm gonna divide both sides by 12. And that's gonna give me a value of 15 for x. Okay, 24 is a PP problem because everything's on the inside of the circle. That means part times part equals part times part. So here's my first uh, chord. The first part is 10, the second part is x. For this other chord, we have 20 and nine as our two parts. That's going to give me 10x equals 180, so x is going to be 18. Okay, number 25. We have stuff outside, and we're solving for segments, so this is going to be a whoa whoa problem. Really should put a little equal sign in there. So the whole thing of this, so 9 plus 15 is 24, the whole thing. The outer portion is 9. This whole thing, remember, like we're driving, so we go 8 and then an additional x. So the additional, we're gonna add, so eight plus x. The outer portion is just eight. 24 times nine is 216. I'm gonna distribute the eight. So I'm gonna have eight times eight is 64. Eight times x is eight x. I'm gonna subtract 64 on both sides. And then I'm gonna divide both sides by eight. And I get a value of x equals 19. Okay. So I think we've done a good job practicing together for these three. I think you guys can do 26, 27, and 28 by yourself. Okay, so see if you can do those. There's a key on Blackboard for you to check your answers. Let's move to the back really fast. Let's see if we can do 29 together. This is a PP problem because everything's on the inside. So I'm going to do part times part equals part times part. If I distribute the 6, I get 6x minus 36. If I distribute the 4, I get 4x minus 12. I'm going to subtract 4x on both sides. And I'm going to get 2x minus 36 equals negative 12. I'm going to add 36 to both sides. And I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Let's skip 30 because it's similar to something we just did. Let's see if we can do 31 though. This is a whoa whoa problem because stuff is on the outside. Okay, let's look at this one first. This whole thing says drive 8 and then drive an additional x plus 2. So drive 8, then drive an additional x plus 2. We'll simplify that in a minute. The outer portion is just 8. This whole thing here it says go 7 and then an additional 6 plus x. So go 7 and then an additional 6 plus x. And then multiply by the outer portion, just 7. Well, 8 plus 2 is 10. Let's combine those like terms. Inside the parentheses, we have an x plus 10. Inside these parentheses, I have an x plus 13. Now we can distribute and solve like we're used to. So I've got an 8x plus 80. And then I have a 7x plus 13 times 7 is 91. I'm going to subtract 70, um, 7x on this side. I'm going to subtract 80 on this side, and I get x equals 11. OK, guys, here is the last portion of our review packet. It's on area of sectors and arc length. Well, remember, sector area is a fraction of total area. We find that fraction by taking the angle of the sector of the central angle over 360 times the total area. To find arc length, 
we take a fraction of our total circumference, a total of the um, distance around the outside. So let's see if we can do a couple together. 32 says find the length of the given arc. So the arc is this right here. So my formula is angle over 360. This is arc length, so it's a portion of the circumference. My angle is 315. My radius is 18. And I think this is where some of you guys have been getting stuck. So if you look at the calculator, we're literally going to type in what we see. So I see 315 divided by 360 times 2 times, we're going to skip the pi, because remember we leave the pi at the end, times 18 and I get 31.5. So we're just gonna write 31.5. We had left out the pi before, so I have to put it in here because it's not part of this number. That's my final answer. Okay. Let's do another arc length together. I've got angle over 360 times two pi r. I've got 60 over 360 times two pi 12. Okay. In my calculator, I'm gonna type in 60 over 360 times 2 times, skip the pi, 12, I get 4, and then I have my pi. Okay. You guys can do this one by yourself, number 36. Number 33, find sector. So they want me to find the area of this region right here. So I need to take a fraction of my total area. Well, my um, central angle is 90. My radius is 13, so again, I'm gonna type in what I see, but I'm just gonna leave out the pi. So 90 over 360 times 13 squared. And that gives me 42.25. I think you guys have enough practice on that now, because we did some of these together in class. So um, I hope these videos were helpful. We'll see you guys soon for your test.